Welcome to this tutorial on how to do the bubble effect that you can see we use in our website review videos and in any other video where we want to mix live video with a screencast clip. It's actually a pretty simple effect to do and I am going to explain you now how to do it. Let's go to another sequence where we have already prepared the two video clips that we're going to use for this. We're going to need a live video clip that needs to be on top of the screencast clip. If we blind this, you see that this is the uh, screencast clip and this is one is the live video clip. Next step is to look for the crop effect here. And now we need to just drag this effect to the live video clip. Next, we will adjust some settings here. We're going to say that we need an ellipse mask and this will be actually our bubble. We're going to adjust it to the size that we want and not luckily for us, Premiere doesn't allow us to hold shift and restrict the proportions of the ellipse. So we need to eyeball it. The next step is to dial up any of these four, left, up, right, bottom, doesn't matter. So we have the crop effect and to reverse this, we just need to hit inverted. Now we already have the bubble. The next step is going to be to hide it. Now we need to go to the point in the timeline when we want the bubble to the whole bubble effect to start. So if it's say here, we need to set the mask expansion to the maximum so that we see no bubble, set a keyframe for this property, go forward 20 or 30 frames. The way I go forward here with a keyboard shortcut is I hold shift and then hit the right arrow. If I do it twice, I go forward 10 and 10, so 20 frames. And at the point that I want, I say, okay, let's go back to zero. So we have the beginning of the, bub the bubble already. And now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Exactly at this point in time, when we have this keyframe, we need to set a keyframe for scale and position. Go forward 20 or 30 frames. And I like to set this to 40, the scale to 40 and then move this to the position I want it to be. And now if we hit spacebar and play it, this is it. This is the effect. But as you can see, as you can see, this is a little bit not very smooth, not very pleasing to the eye. So we're going to adjust the movement of this whole animation by doing the following. We go to the first keyframe of mask expansion, right click it and say ease out. So we are saying do not be too abrupt when you start this. And we're going to say now do not be too abrupt when you finish it by clicking ease in. And the same thing for the options for the parameters of position and scale. Ease out the first ones, ease in the next ones. And to me, this was a little bit slow. So I'm going to just change the timing a little bit. Let's see. It's still a bit slow to my taste. That's better. Let's leave it like that. And there you have it. This is the bubble effect. There's nothing more to it. You just need Adobe Premiere Pro and the crop effect and someone who knows how to do this and that's already you so you're good to go if you want to reverse the effect if you want to go from the bubble to the full screen mode put another keyframe in position and scale without changing anything go forward the amount of keyframes that you want and set another pair of keyframes but now you're going to say reset the parameters so it goes back to the original and when we do that, we lose the easing. So we're going to have to ease this again. And right at this point in time, when we have these keyframes, 
we set the keyframe for a mask expansion. We don't change it yet. And go forward 20 to 30 frames and dial this up to the maximum again. And now let's move them closer together. So now we have the beginning of the bubble effect and the ending as well. So this was it. The bubble effect is finally revealed. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below in the comment box and I will answer them. I am Mikael Malet, the video editor of Thrive Themes. And thank you very much for watching.